Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Banner Lord. We're going to splash the cash on Hasid the... Yeah, anyway, we're getting this guy into our army for a small fee of 600 deners. I'm just a cheap scale, let's be honest. So what we're going to do is we're going to check our party, move this guy up to the top. What's he good at? Age 27. Does it say what my age is? 30. Ouch! That's a bit old. <laughs> anyway, Occupation Wanderer. Devious... Hmm. He seems, he seems like a pretty nasty fella. Skills, those are her skills. One-handed pole arms. Roguery. Ah, I regret, regret getting this guy now. Oh, that's how you check their inventory. Which is arguably better than the old way of doing things. But what it does mean is we can give this guy a better helmet. Um, you can have that. What, what do we have? Tattered shoes. Are they any better? They are. Oh yeah, look at this, right? So, the more towns you visit, the more you can get an idea of where the items are cheaper or more expensive. And I actually did a lot of trading in my last game. I did more trading than actually fighting. I just loved going to the place where there was something really cheap and then selling it on for a bigger price somewhere else. I just find so much satisfaction in that. You'll get 126. We're doing pretty well here. Olives. Oh, let's just stick to the cheap stuff, shall we? So we've got a lot of food, which is good. And we have... Well, let's have a look at our journal, shall we? We've got party size of 20, hire companion. The only thing we're, we need to work on now is renown, which we can get through fighting, I think. Oh, we've got a tournament. So the, the last term, tournament I did off camera... The first battle was like a 4v4v4v4 v4 v4 v4, and I forgot to bet and then I was like, oh darn it. And then I was, oh yeah, it was like this. I forgot to bet and then I died. I was like, okay, I made I made the correct choice. Question is, I think we can win this. It looks like our troops are good. Let's, yeah, those are good troops, I think. And we've got a horse. Boom, look at that. First blood. <laughs> I just ran right in front of somebody's sword. Right, we need to probably stay with our men and not just, like, hide. We don't want to go missing. There we go. Let's try and get through there. I got a stab on somebody. I think I got somebody there. This guy, he's out on his own. Got a stab there. There we go. Another frag. This guy's after us. Yeah, look at that. Got another guy there. I certainly got the stab on them. Yeah, I, I made the right choice to bet because I knew our, our troops were decent. When it says one at the side, is that number of kills or is that like place? What does that mean? Two. Two. Well, I'm trying to let my guys go in for them. And there we go. Success. Round over. Wait, who are we fighting? Mercenary crossbowmen. I think we can win this. Place a bet. I mean, obviously... We could bet now and then fail later, and we don't get anything, but... I don't think we get anything later if we bet. It'd be nice if you got some winnings, at least, for surviving. Wow, that was a, a wayward shot. So, like, obviously, the directional shield is a wee bit more annoying, but... Like, it makes sense, because shields were quite OP in the previous, uh, previous games. Like, you just hit, needed to hold up your shield and you were good, whereas now it leaves some room for uncertainty, which uh, obviously I don't like. I like being able to be protected by a shield, but, you know, it makes the game more realistic. Right. Oh, no! Okay. Let's try and get this guy. Got that guy. Need to go in and help. No! Blip. There we go, there we go. Phew, that was a tough one. Thought when they turned on me I was gonna... That was gonna be it. Right, we might as well go all in. Final battle, please give me a shield, thank goodness. This is gonna be a tough battle. I, I've had this guy on my team twice now and I... Because he's got a different name, I knew he's gonna be good. He's like a lord or something, I'm guessing. With a lot of battle experience. And then there's me, having won a couple of fights against looters. I think that was a hit. That was also a hit. Of course, we're on realistic damage. We're on normal difficulty. Although, the thing is, 
It's called, what, normal, veteran, and hard or something. That's just another way of saying easy, medium, and... Easy, medium, and uh, hard. <laughs> you know, I'm basically we're on the lowest difficulty, even if it is called normal. Although the fact it's called normal does, you know, obviously make you feel better, because it's like... It's what... You know, it's... Unless you're really good, that's the difficulty you should be on. I think we're on base. Yeah. Oh, no! This is not good. No! Yes! <laughs> Sorry, I had to go in full focus mode there when my shield broke. I wasn't paying attention, I was just having a fun time talking. But we managed to get the dub in the end. Fine steel, man, men, 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 valian. We got a bu bunch of cash though, and we're one step closer to. Fifth, is it 50 renown? Okay, yeah, this looks like it's a lot better than what we've got. It's a bit harder to handle. And it's a wee bit slower, but I think overall we should definitely be using it. And uh, we'll swap this out for this guy's one and sell that. Nice. Well, after many failures, I finally had success, as you can see. There's a quest journal update. We have completed the rebuild your clan quest. There's actually no, like, no other quests, really. I think that was just a starter quest, but, I mean, it was nice to do. Uh, we got a bit of cash out of it. I'll probably spend some time in the arena to uh, get that a bit higher. And, yeah, what did we get? We got shoulder guards, I think, imperial shoulder guards. Yeah, we've already got that. We could sell on. I think I'll just pass it over to my uh, guy here. Sell that, and that's fine. I did a bit of trading, although... I kind of messed up because if you have a look at the map, yeah, I went to the city over here, Jalmaris, we'll go with that, and I bought all of their beer and then had to bring it all the way over here, but I was over in Encumbered, so I think I ended up paying more to my troops to make that journey than I actually got from selling all the beer, but there you go. All right, here we are at the hideout. We're just away to attack all this. It's got forest bandits in it. We can press Alt for more information. 19 ranged troops. Don't like the sound of that, but I'm up for some action. Let's wait until nightfall to attack. It's got a wee loading bar there. See, I, this is kind of the stage I got to last time. I'm not quite sure how we make the next step, so we're going to have to uh, work on that. Right, here we go. Let's attack under the cover of night. If I remember rightly, I did one of these in my previous save. Oh no, they, they already know. Is that me? What are they saying? Oh, that guy's going to charge us. Watch this. You, you've cut quite a swath through my men. I've not fought anyone. We've just arrived. I bet we settle as 1v1. He's going to go straight for me. Watch. See? Just back out. Why is, it, why is his men not helping out? He just got destroyed. He just got absolutely done in. Is that it? Did we win? I feel like one of my men fell. Which is a bit of a shame. Oh no, they were just wounded. We gained some morale, which is nice. Right, we can upgrade some of our guys here, which is good. We can also upgrade one of these guys. So we've got some Imperial trained infantrymen, which is uh, very useful. Surely we got a lot. Oh, we got some stuff. Bow, barbed arrows. Cool. And now we're... What are we doing over here? Was that where the hideout was? I guess it's gone now. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at our character. We did level up, so we do get to work on one of these perks. I've been increasing leadership, so I've got that up to three. I kind of want to do trade now. So as you can see, this is our, our clan page. I'm the leader. And this, I think, enables us to identify how we get to the next tier. I think we need to get to Renown 150, which is... A lot higher than what we are now. Also, we can kick this guy from our clan. <laughs> it sounds so um, unceremonial, unofficial. You know, it's kick, kick, It's like kicking him out of the club, you know? Kicking him out of the recorded round. Nah, anyway. We can hire up to 46 people now. So, I guess that should be my aim, is to yeah go around and try and pick up some more trips. Okay, as you can see, we've made it all the way across to the 
lands the Vlandians, I think. Vlandia, yeah, the Vlandia faction. And the reason I've come here is because I believe these guys have... Oh, there's looters. So I think these guys have troops that you can level up that will eventually become uh, knights or heavy cavalry, I think. Whoa, 36 looters. We should Let's take that fight. Let's get a few more troops here. Okay, here we go. We've got our... Whoa, that was very laggy at the start. We've got our formation going. We do have some cavalry. Where the heck are they? Maybe they barred themselves in. Whoa, that was sudden. They caught me unawares there. Okay. Uh, let's get Everett to run, to charge in. And we'll do our best to help out. Completely missed that swing. We, someone else was wounded. They're all fleeing. We need to go and, I guess, deal with them. Fleeing in the direction of the camp. No, oh, and I got stuck. Classic. So we can fit through there. Oh, phew, so could I. Oh, wow, that's the end. Oh, no, 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 right, okay. End of end of battle, end of battle. Wow, we uh, exited the area there by accident. All right, we've got a few prisoners, that's good. We could level up a bunch of our guys. Oh, yeah, I should say I fought in a bunch of arena battles, and I've got over 10k now, which is uh, kind of nice. Okay, so I've explored some more of the Vlandia lands. We started off down in the south here, but we've gone north and we're up in the cold now, up in the far north. I've decided we're going to try and settle around this area and by settle I mean we're going to try and do some quests in the villages and the cities to try and unlock more, uh, you know, recruitment slots. We're going to basically try and get a renown up here and yeah, our army is going to be based up here. As you can see, this is what we've got. We can actually get one more uh, trip. But we do have more in the way of companions. You might have seen them in the battle I just fought. So this was the guy we originally had. But then we've also got Lasvac the Fish. I think he was one of the first people I saw. So I went back and I hired him for 500. And then we've got a couple of uh, ladies. We've got Emulier the Rogged. And, oh, they're both called the Rogged. Ari Ariada the wronged. I don't usually read the stories, but these women certainly had interesting stories, and I heard them. I think the guy that was 2.5 grand, I think he was already like a, an established knight or warrior or whatever for another uh, faction, so I figured that's probably why he was so expensive, and these people are just like misfits, outcasts, wronged people, so that's why they're a little cheaper. They're just looking for any work. And we've started off our Vlandian recruitment process, so yeah. I don't have too much else to say. Thank you very much for watching episode 3. And hopefully for next time I will have worked towards clan tier 2. And we'll have more men. Or women. And uh, yeah, we'll wait and see how things pan out. Ho hopefully I'll establish myself a bit more. I just lost a tournament at Rovalt. I need to start winning them in order to boost my reputation up here. I'll see you later.